Welcome back everyone. So today we are doing the March Scroller Box. So let's get this open. Alright, so let's try to keep this video as simple as possible. And let's dive in. So to start off. Ooh. So let's look at that a second. And each scroller box comes with a sticker. Pure confectionery. Cute little treat. There's no like brand on it, so I'm guessing pure confectionery is the brand. Comes with a dual sharpener. Which is good, I've been needing one. The one I have is kind of going dull. We have a pilot pure liquid ink. Uh, v ball 0.7. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, this one is not YPO or Yupo or Yupo, I'm not sure, but it's a pencil. I have two of these, Durant Blender and Durant Burnisher. I've never actually used a burnisher before, so this is something new for me. The burnisher is a hard colorless pencil, which when used over layers of pigment provides a rich polished finish. Then we have Kawaii number 8750 Progresso Woodless Pencil. These lacquer coated pencils don't have a traditional wooden casting, giving you a pure stick of color that can be used in many different ways. It has five times more coverage potential than a normal colored pencil. So it's just a solid white colored pencil. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's look at these colors. Ooh. I always love a good presentation. And these definitely have it. Get to the next part. So, today's sponsored artist. Oh, it gave you two. Emily Zurij. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but. Do they have a link? Yeah, so, get the links. You guys want to go follow her this is her artwork very vivid very pretty oh where'd that little page go so something i forgot last time every scroller box comes with a scroller challenge and so this month's challenge or march's challenge was enchantress so take a bonus from Abby. and then it says now you have tested the tools and colored this artwork it's time to create your very own coloring book masterpiece all right so they provided this really cool like print so you can color it in have fun with that Ooh, and lastly it's very shiny it's like the fun pearl finish of it no lines just a plain sketchbook west design sketchbook an a5 stapled sketchbook with pearlescent purple cover containing 40 140 gsm pages the perfect place to create your very own coloring book all right okay so get these out of the way okay so i got some paper Cut down, one to play with, and want to do some quick swatches on. So, I'm start with the colored pencil. I'm just going to go straight into this V-ball. Unless there's no erasers in this set, so there's no going back. Once we lay stuff down. Now let's try this color or this solid colored pencil. Just want to see how well it does. Over black. It just seems to blend out the graphite. Let me try sharpening it real quick to see if that helps. Eh, it's alright. I don't really have any black paper, but I do have this brown paper. So let's see. And there I go, snapping it in half. <laughs> I'm 
so destructive. Not my favorite. Let's fix it. Put some, put some tape on its boo-boo. So that one was the... The co I knew... What this pencil. And white. We'll get to these in a second and we can put all these colors down real quick. Let's get some of these colors down. Yay! I'm loving how vibrant and vivid these colors are. Now let's look at this burnishing tool. It's kind of fun. It just makes it shiny. Now let's take two colors and see if we can't blend them together. I'm actually going to pick two very opposite colors and see how well they blend together. It's actually really fun because it gets rid of that grainy, a little bit of that graininess that naturally comes from the pencils. Kind of smooths them out. Alright, so we have our swatches done. Let's get an idea real quick of what we want to do and jump right in. Maybe I should stick with the very first one. <sighs> oh, my brain. Well, let's get this cleaned up and onto the sketchbook. So here we have it, my Enchantress. I probably could have done better and can probably still add more detail down the line, but I had an idea and I wanted to run with it and just kind of have her sitting here with the person she has in mind and she's enchanting. I did the colors and I was like, I need something else. So I made it into like a little silhouette with birds and kind of gives me this bayou kind of feel. I might even come in with the gold later on and add like a vibrant gold 
to the necklace and everything, but here we have it. Things that I don't think I'm going to be taking away from this Scrawler box, starting with this pencil. It's, it's entertaining because it's woodless and it's all solid white pencil, but it doesn't work. As far as the Stettler colored pencils, I love them. They are soft, they do blend really nicely once you use the blender. So this little colorless blender from Derwent. And you can come in and just blend completely out. So if you don't want all those lines, if you want it to be super smooth, you can use this colorless blender. I didn't get very much use out of the Durant um, burnisher. It's supposed to make it shiny and I don't know, I'm just not getting that that shine. What's fun about Scrawler Box is you're introduced to materials and items you normally won't go out and find yourself or if you do you're kind of like, eh, should I buy this on my own? You have no idea how good it's going to be and Scrawler Box kind of just forces it on you. It says, hey, try it out. Enjoy. Other people have enjoyed this and hopefully you will too. So. Outside of that, another fun scroll. Oh, and this, I absolutely love this. This goes over colored pencil and everything, and it's really hard to find a pen that's, that just works on top of. This is definitely going into my recommended list. Where is it? Let's see if I can focus on it. Yep. So that's the Pilot V Ball 0.7 pen. And yeah, definitely recommended that. But. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video, and let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys later. Bye!